What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and MM2K Gaming. Back again with something new. I'm going to break it down a little bit what we're doing. Um, but this is the precursor to the NRO Mic Check Show that we're about to do. Um, and we're either going to be doing it live for you, if you're a member, or you get to catch the premiere of it after the fact. But if you want to be part of the discussions when they go live, make sure you hit that join button and join at the foamy homie level. All right. In doing so, we'll guarantee you that you get access to all of our content, including member content when it goes live. All right. So here's what's going on. I want to talk about PlayStations. Um, PC pursuits. Say that fast five times. And we want to examine the pros and cons. And what we're doing today is I'm going to take a little bit of time before we do the member stream and the premiere. I want to take a little bit of time to just discuss this from 5,000 feet. And then directly after this video, you're going to be funneled over to the um, premiere or the members content. And if it doesn't work for you that way, we're going to provide a link in the description. There'll be a card at the end of this too that you can click on. It'll take you directly over there. So in order for me to explain today's discussion, I want to do this. Let me take you here. Second. All right, there you go. I knew you could transition over. All right, so um, Wario64 on Twitter says, Ghost of Tsushima DC for PC includes cross-play support and is the first PSPC title to use a new PlayStation overlay accessible with Shift F1 and game menu for PSN friends list trophy settings and profiles can also earn trophy shares playstation 5 trophy set in addition to full support for steam and egs achievements and uh on the playstation blog post they give you a look of what it will have along with specs for the pc version of this ghost of tsushima all right so of course i talked to cold blood co-host here on mm2k gaming and uh, he has a lot to say about that, but we'll get into that later. Here's my initial thoughts. I think there are pros and cons. Uh, first and foremost, the pros. Look, uh, I've always said that PlayStation getting more aggressive on PC um, isn't necessarily a bad thing. More money from PC people with all the tight guardrails tight enough systems and security and stuff like that will only go to bolster the games that we like on console or PC if you're willing to wait. You know what I'm saying? Currently, PlayStation has a system to where they make you wait at least a year or two before they uh, move, their, they port their games over. Um, so if you want the day one experience on console, you know what I'm saying? Then you got to get a I mean, you want the day one experience from PlayStation rather then you got to get a console. Um, I think that this is just going to go further to fund those quality games that we get first on console. I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. Um, and I think efforts like this to, um, you know, do the UI, build it up to make it more lush for those PC players that get it later after the fact will only contribute towards that and add to the belief system that there one day will be a PlayStation PC store. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's great. I think that aspect of it is great. All right. But here's the cons. PlayStation has to be very careful and make sure that they don't overreach on this. Like I had to give this some thought. There may be earlier content out there or receipts of your boy MM2K um, saying, look, going day and date on PC doesn't hurt PlayStation. And that is categorically wrong if you do a deep dive into the data. And thanks to people like Nib95 on Twitter that helped me realize that. Um, when you look at the data or you compare Xbox, who's done this? You always look at the precedent. Xbox has done this. And ever since Xbox has done this, data shows that their revenue growth has been the slowest between them, PlayStation and Nintendo. Their day and date approach has slowed their revenue growth. Why is that? Because your most hardcore gamers, they're gonna want, they're the ones that, that, that strive for the best performance. 
So they're going to go to PC. You know, even if it's only 5% of your gaming populace, that is the 5% that buy the most games, that spend the most money per gamer. I'm not saying in unison, per gamer on the platform. You lose not only 30% of your sales because you're now going day and date on Steam and other PC stores that are popular to get your game out, but then you're losing the third party aspect of it. Like you no longer are housing the third party games on your platform. They're being housed via Steam. So you get none of those sales. You get none of the DLC, none of the the microtransactions or anything. You lose out big on that proposal. So that's where I think PlayStation needs to caution themselves. If they make this too accessible or make their stuff too accessible on PC, then what's reasonably going to happen is their hardcore will also go to PC and start playing their stuff there. Right? And if that happens, PlayStation, I believe, will see the same fate as Xbox and it'll cannibalize revenues altogether. And then we won't see the games that we want to see on the console that make the console so great. So it's a balancing act. I think a year, maybe six months the soonest, depending upon the game. I think a year, maybe two, to not worry about parallel development, to develop the game uniquely for the console at first day and date, and then to put it elsewhere after the fact. I think that's cool. I also don't think, now don't mind this discussion when it comes to cloud. When it comes to cloud, PlayStation owns the cloud platform. So they could put their stuff day and date, on cloud as long as it's not like again another parallel development issue where okay oh we got to tweak this to make sure it works on the cloud so they're taking resources from the console i'm okay with staggered launches like day and date on console um cloud goes up in 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 three months or a month and then you know pc you know is a year later I'm, i'm okay with those staggered launches okay just to make sure you get the best product out there possible um but yeah playstation has to be very careful because talking to cold blood and others they are not liking this revelation and they will bounce and that will be a revenue hit for them that happens we're going to talk about this full discussion no holds barred you know how we do this is not safe for work. This part is, <laughs> but the, the podcast is not safe for work. So tuck granny to bed. Let the kids go over to the sleepovers. Get ready for in a row mic check as we examine PlayStation's PC pursuits. The pros and cons. And we're going to talk to Cold Blood, get his thoughts, and then we're going to talk to you in the chat. So join us for the live discussion. With that said, we appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for your patience as we make these updates and these changes. And until we see you over there, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.